Homegrown Unplugged. Welcome to the Homegrown Unplugged. I am your host, KK. This is a stage for African talent and homegrown poetic expression through performance. Please, without wasting any more time, give a warm welcome to Kalin Aldrin. Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. If you hear me, clap once. If you hear me, clap twice. If you hear me, clap three times. That's good. You're a good class. My name is Sir Homolemo, and I'll be teaching you a lesson in its essence about crime and its presence. It's only for your retention, so I ask for your cooperation as I begin professing and engaging in this profession. So please pay attention as I mention this doctrinal perfection. And no, I will not be accepting any questions. It's called How to Be a Criminal 101. Subtopic, corruption. Now, let me walk you through a couple of subtle steep steps for stealing from civilians so seamlessly sinister while still simply serenading them with sweet, simple something, sauced up in sickening suits, swimming in empty promises like slithering snakes. Step one. Get, step one, get a matric certificate. Yes. Step two, go to university and study politics for four years. Step three, Go work in Parliament. If you do these three steps, my learners, I guarantee that you'll be the greatest criminals to ever live. And the awesome thing with this, and the awesome thing with this, is that even if you get caught, you won't go to jail. You'll just get a slap on the wrist. See, our country is brought to instability by people who are supposed to bring it in. Stability, it's funny how politicians have managed to become excellent zookeepers because of all the animals they keep stashed into our pockets without realizing that they're becoming more like them. See, nowadays, when I watch the parliament, I only see a zoo. I see a zoo because I see hungry lions preying on innocent people just so they could feed their pride. Because of corruption, I have lost my desire to acquire M's or B's, so now I'm just left with A and C. All because Jacob Zuma's a D. My pockets are running on E because the people in power don't give two F's about G. I said, because of corruption, I have lost my desire to acquire M's or B's, so now I'm just left with A and C. All because Jacob Zuma's a D. My pockets are running on E because the people in power don't give two F's about G. That's A and C and E, F, F, in case you missed. With that being said, class is dismissed. Yeah, Razi here. So I would like to ask, uh, would you say right now, ne, yes. since we've touched uh, on politics and uh, a lot of crap that's going on in the country, yes. would you say right now, as, uh, as a young man or mm. a, a, a young woman growing up, would you say it's, it's pointless for me to actually to vote uh, in, in the next elections? Because picking up on what you said, you know, pretty much, well, almost everyone in that, s in that, in that system is, you know, yeah. They yeah, they, yeah, they uh, they all go in, in the same direction, which is, is I think uh, it's it's not the way that we want to be led. Mm, yeah. mm. So I I really think that you should vote, right? Because if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. You know, if you do vote, then I get the privilege of writing these kind of poems. If I didn't vote, then it would be wrong for me to say these things. You know, so I can complain because. I, well, I wasn't old enough to vote, but at that time, well, I, I don't know, something happened, I didn't vote. But this time I'm gonna vote, right? For the sake of the poem. So then I, I didn't, <laughs> yes. So then I didn't, I don't get the, I have the right to complain if I do not vote, right? Mm -hmm.